So how much do people really make on YouTube? This is my estimated revenue for this month. Look at this shit, guys. What the heck is that? That looks terrible. That looks terrible. Look at this one. Terrible. Crazy dog decided to eat the corner of our baseboards. So now, I gotta get a contractor to come out and fix the baseboards today. But it's Sunday, and that's the kind of thing you do on Sunday. Just hang out around the house and get things done, do chores, and be productive. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But for real, Sundays are kinda nice. Give you a day to plan for the week ahead and crush it on Monday. Monday is my favorite day of the week because it's the start of a new week and you can just crush the week. So yeah, we're gonna do some uh, some chore stuff today on Sunday, but I wanted to film a video. Excuse my PJ look here, but I wanted to film a video today about how my car, my car is free and paid for by YouTube. Yeah. You guys pay for my car, thank you for that. Um, and really highlight two main things with it. First off, uh, the process I went about buying my car and kind of how I would recommend that process for younger folks maybe as a better alternative to some other ways of buying a car, especially in Arizona. Uh, talk about some perks and car buying hacks. And then also, just be transparent, kind of show you uh, where my YouTube is gone as far as a financial standpoint and a passive income stream and how uh, it might be good for you to start a YouTube channel or do some YouTube stuff just to build some extra income. So yeah, I'm going to highlight those two points. Hope you guys enjoy it and here we go. So how much do people really make on YouTube? This is my estimated revenue for this month. Beginning of January, $238.82 off of 37,800 views for the month. Thank you everybody new that is subscribed here. I greatly appreciate it. I'm up to like 8,200 subscribers now. So thank you very much. So I've been doing YouTube now for almost like three and a half years. Am I the most consistent with it? No. Am I the best, biggest YouTuber? No. Is there better aviation channels? Absolutely. But I really enjoy it. It's fun to be able to network through social media, meet people, and also just provide as much value as possible to you guys. And if there's anything that I think uh, might give you some value or some information on things that might not be talked about on YouTube or any way I can help, I enjoy it. I enjoy giving out information, documenting some of my life, and it's just fun for me, uh, and it's cool. It's a little side hobby and almost a little side hustle, but um, you know, it's not a whole lot of money, $240, and that's the most it's ever been. It's usually between like 175, 215 a month or somewhere in there. But um, yeah, it's a little money. And um, the moral of it, uh, kind of with this video, is it pays for my car. And I think that's pretty cool, you know? 200 bucks a month is 200 bucks a month. It pay for your car payment, pay for an insurance payment, your phone, uh, something like that. So it's a nice little extra income to have. All right, guys, so this is the car, the Jet Biz Mobile. It's a BMW 528. I know it looks like an M5 because it's got the Ford exhaust down there, but it's not. It's a total fake M5, if that's what you want to call it. You can hate on it, but uh, yeah, it's a 528. It's got an exhaust, which is kind of nice. I didn't put that on there. It was bought like that. But yeah, it's a BMW 528i 2011, and I bought this car from a private party on Craigslist. And the reason I did that was because there's no sales tax from private party in Arizona. I learned this from Ricky Gutierrez's video he did on private uh, car stuff. He buys a lot of his cars private party, not from dealers. So I got this bad boy private party on Craigslist. And I think it's a little bit easier to negotiate with private sellers than it is with a dealer. There's no document fees or anything like that. So that's one little hack if you're in Arizona, there's no private party sales tax. I would recommend looking for a car on the internet, online, and try and find more of a motivated seller. This guy was having a baby uh, and he needed something bigger. The car was originally listed for 11,000. I talked him down to 9,000 and yeah, I got it for 9,000. And here's the other little caveat here. I could have paid $9,000 cash right and just got in the car but i decided against that and the reason why i decided to take out a loan because i could do a zero down loan roughly 175 dollars a month and i think my interest rate is like six percent not the best but not the worst i don't have any auto loan history so if you're young and you know i want to buy nicer cars one day and be able to leverage good loans 
So I got this car with a loan in order to build my auto credit history and uh, 175 a month, it's really not that bad and YouTube pays for it, quote unquote. Um, usually I pay $200 a month instead of the 175, so I pay back some of the principal early um, and, and get it and pay ahead of time uh, just to be a little bit more ahead on the loan. But yeah, I got this 2011 528 for nine grand, zero down, 175 bucks a month. And I'm gone half a year. Uh, I really wanted something nice, but not too nice, because if I buy like a $25,000, $30,000 car and I'm only driving it half a year, I gotta let it sit, the battery's a concern, the tires are a concern. I didn't want to do that. So I want something kind of luxury, kind of snazzy, but older, it's got 100,000 miles on it. I can drive it for a year and then sell it and really just use it to build my credit history. And it's still pretty nice. Uh, and it's a pretty cool car, you know, a nice luxury sedan. So that's my kind of logic behind it. And also, I can use this as a tax write-off. So I have my own business. I'm an independent contractor for the company I fly for. So as of this year, um, according to my accountants, a uh, vehicle does not need to be over the 6,000 pounds or whatever uh, to be a full tax write-off. So my accountant recommended uh, that I write off the full purchase price of the car, write off $9,000 even though it's zero down and it's on a loan. I can still write it all off, which is pretty cool. So all my taxes, uh, it's a great little investment, and I'm going to try and sell it for more than I got it for. We'll see if I can get like nine, ten thousand. Hopefully, somebody doesn't watch this video and be like, "Hey, you said you bought it for nine, and now you want more money for it." But whatever, I want to provide some value to you guys and kind of show you all about this car and how YouTube pays for this car. Quick little video, not the craziest thing in the world, but um, if you are looking to buy a car. I suggest you don't go to a dealer first, try and uh, go through a private party and then talk to credit unions about uh, private loans. You can do a credit union loan, get approved much, much easier than something like a um, you know Chase or Wells Fargo or something like that. So that's kind of my logic behind it. Uh, try a credit union. They'll usually give you better rates and better deals on loans uh, and they're willing to work with a private party private party auto sale where you can buy from Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, something like that. In a lot of states there might not be sales tax on that. There's no document fees, no dealer fees. So you're going to get a better price. And then you can uh, you know, talk to more people, individuals who aren't salespeople and talk them down, see what their motivation to sell is and you know, low ball them off for a lower price and try and get a good deal on it. And you might be able to get a used car that you can drive around for a year and then sell for the same thing you got it for uh, because you, know, you don't want to buy a car and then have it depreciate a ton and then be on the backside of that loan and be like, oh man, like I owe 20 grand on it and um, you know it's only worth 15 at this point. Or you don't wanna be on the backside of that depreciation curve. Uh, so yeah, that's my logic. There's my little daily driver, $9,000 for a BMW. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, you think I'm silly for it? You, you think it's a good idea? But um, yeah, uh, my I guess uh, just for younger people or pilots maybe, I just suggest not getting a new car, see what you can get used, see what you can get private party, and then leverage your money. There's no reason to pay $9,000 cash uh, when that cash could sit in your bank or put into an investment that makes you more uh, than the interest percentage. So you're earning more money, you're leveraging the money that you have liquid. Uh, I, would, I would do that rather than put $9,000 cash into the car. Uh, and then if you wanna build your credit history, I think it's a good opportunity uh, for something like this. So this is, this is my logic behind it. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit me up for more content. What do you guys want to see? My name is Ryan Huber. Sword your full potential. I appreciate all your support, all your feedback, comments, and have a great weekend. Have a great day. Be your best self. I'll see you. Peace.